Hi. If you're watching this video, chances are you're a clarinet player. And if, like me, you've looked at all those YouTube videos which are helpful and try to get you to improve your tone, and like me, you still don't sound like Julian Bliss, but you may have come across um, a video which says that to improve the tone of your plastic clarinet, all you need to do is replace the barrel, this plastic barrel, with a wooden one. Right, okay. Sounds wonderful. Let's have a look at a barrel first of all. What is a barrel? Well, it's a lump of wood with a hole in it. There's a tenon joint at each end. One for the mouthpiece and one of course to join the body. And the effective length in the middle is 28 millimetres. So is a wooden tube 28 millimetres long really going to change the tone of your plastic clarinet to a wonderful degree? Right, okay, well I thought I'd make one for myself. Now this wooden one, the Grenadillo, hardwood that most clarinets, wooden clarinets are made from, guaranteed to be 50 years old, 15 years old, sorry. This one is beech and is 50 years old. It used to be a chopping block that I got when I was first married and the it was made up of strips of beech uh, glued together and the glue failed eventually and then it, it fell apart but the wood is worth keeping because it's uh, a hardwood, not easy to find in this country, not well seasoned anyway. Now to prove, how to prove that it's better. Well we've all seen those um, YouTube videos where somebody comes along with the latest gadget and they stick it on their instrument and they play a before and after and then tell you at the end how wonderful it sounds and how much better it is and to me they always sound the same. Maybe it's my ear or maybe it's because I'm listening on an iPad, I don't know. So it's not much point in, in, in doing the same thing. So what I thought I'd do was I'd take it along to a band practice to the band I belong to and see if I can um, get somebody to play there. And the idea was that I'd get two clarinet players um, with similar instruments and one to play with the plastic and the other one to swap theirs for the wooden ones. And then they could play a scale alternately so that each note could be compared instantly. Now it's, it sounded good in theory but in actual fact it proved to be a disaster. Because when at the end, when I said, uh, could you indicate if it was a bedroom tone, uh, no hands went up at all. And then somebody spoke up and said, well, we couldn't really because they, they're completely different. They, there's no sound alike at all. And I'm afraid that was all down to the person playing the plastic instrument, which had got a very suspect read. It was uh, buzzy and a poor tone, which only goes to prove if you want a good tone, you, it's no good playing with a dud reed. You've got to get a decent reed. So that, I'm afraid, was a bit of a failure. But the interesting thing at the end was that the lady who played with the homemade one came up to me afterwards and said, I really like that that re, that barrel. It, it, I really like it. It, it played nicely. It, it was different. I I really I really liked it. And, and so I said, well, when I finish this video, you better have it. So 
at least it'll get used. Thing about it is, of course, being a softer wood, it would absorb moisture. So I've waxed the inside as a repellent. Now, how good that is and how long it'll last, I've no idea, but maybe she'll find out. So what to do then? I've still got to, to prove one way or the other whether they are better and it's a good idea to spend the money. And talking of the money, one company, the Bakun, are offering their two, a choice of two fat boys, as they call them, for £143. Or you could buy a Francois Bender for 180 and you have a choice of four. Now that sounds like an awful lot of money to me. I should want a great deal of improvement for that sort of money. So what I've done is I've made a recording. Uh, don't have a fancy uh, studio microphone, but I've used this which is uh, my usual one for recording the band. It, I've recorded in WAV format and I've used this Yamaha the Yamaha 250 which is a quite a common uh, instrument with the uh, with all sorts of band people and the results I've put into uh, some software called Audacity. Now, if you haven't come across it, it's a free software sound editing. And it's, it really is excellent. So I've recorded the three barrels, but with only four notes. And the four notes I've chosen are the four E's. So it covers three complete octaves, uh, which is the majority of uh, the clarinet notes. And then I've changed the stereo versions into monos. And then I've chopped them up into chunks. And then I've reassembled them so that they play now continuously. And the first note is going to be the plastic one and then the second will be the hard grenadillo one and the third one will be the beach and then it will play the next note and so on until all four notes have been played and then theoretically there you should be able to hear the difference between them theoretically well we'll see how it goes Well, that was disappointing. I did hope to find a definite distinction between the three barrels, but to my ear anyway, I couldn't decide any difference between them. However, when I looked at the uh, waveform, they were different. Not a great deal, but you could see differences. I've got the theory that perhaps uh, the wood, what that does is uh, it attenuates the, the peaks, uh, rather like the silencer on a car, uh, it sort of softens 
uh, the edges as it were just to reduce it a bit maybe that's what it is just a theory anyway this isn't intended as a, a definitive test it's more for food for thought for anybody who's considering buying one as they're very expensive and if you don't have access to to try them out and you want to risk all that money by mail order or something uh, it, it might be worth thinking about. My suggestion is that if you get the opportunity to play with other players that you find somebody who's got a professional in wooden instrument, maybe your teacher or, or a band member who will lend you the barrel and then you could play it to them and they could give their opinion. On the other hand, if you just want to look smart you could go down the Chinese road. They do a very nice barrel and bell in wood for about £65. Maybe it works well. Whatever you do, good luck. Thank you for watching and keep practicing. Now I think I might try one in aluminium.